continue on with the sequencing of this heat pump. And as I said the last time, we're going to uh, start backup heat. We have the three parts of this machine here. Outdoor unit here, uh, thermostat here, indoor unit here. Now I don't have the wiring, I'm not, I'm not set up with the wiring on this diagram for say an electric furnace or a gas furnace or anything like that. And this is oftentimes the way you'll see these diagrams done because they won't show the air handler inside. They'll just show the terminal board and that's what we have here is the terminal board. So if I was to energize W1, that would energize whatever heat there is, whether it's electric heat, gas, oil, whatever. So let's go through this thing. When this uh, heating thermostat down here closes, now that's second stage heat. That means the heat pump is operating through Y up here but it can't keep up with the load and the temperature continues to drop. So when it continues to drop about two degrees, this thermostat here is going to close, pass power through W to W1, and that is gonna energize, we'll say this electric furnace, and it'll energize maybe two elements. This field wiring here, this isn't part of this, this is part of the defrost system. But once we energize W1, that's going to energize, say, electric heat elements, uh, two out of four, like, as I said. It'll also energize the indoor fan. Now, the indoor fan should already be energized if the unit is running in first stage heat. Now, note, whenever the, you're going to second stage heat, if it's an electric furnace, the electric furnace will be downstream of the heat pump coil. The uh, elements were upstream of the coil. They would feed high temperature into that coil. And of course, that would increase the compressor head pressure beyond normal limits and would probably damage the compressor. So it's fairly simple when W is energized it energizes W1, turns on two uh, heat elements. The heat elements are added to the first stage that was energized by Y, and so it just adds more heat in to keep up with the load. You'll be amazed at how little these ever come on unless you're in a very, very cold area. Uh, the heat pump usually keeps up the load you can figure it'll keep up the load down to about 30 degrees. And it depends on, you know, the efficiency of the pump and a lot of other things like that. But uh, if you figure 30 degrees, it's pretty good. Uh, and it'll provide the vast majority of the heat even below 30 degrees. But that W1 being energized is really all that happens when you go to second stage heat. So that's it on that one.